Hey, it's Tansel. And today, let's look at strengthening memory. And I'll go through some exercises that you can practice so your memory can be a lot stronger and you can get faster recall as well. So we're doing two things, memorization improvement and also recall and retention. So let's go. Now, I've got a whiteboard behind me um, because I love whiteboards. And I'll show you how the process works. All right, so let's say you've got to remember something. There, there's some information for you. When we try and memorize it, what happens is that it gets stored in our brain, but it's sort of up in the ether somewhere, <laughs> right? It's not stored in any location or address. So we need to pop, pop that in somewhere into the brain, right? Um, there's a location. Now we can use um, you know, memory palaces, we can use direct linking, all that sort of stuff, right? Um, so that, that's techniques. What we wanna be able to do is we need to improve this, uh, what I call the memorization part. Right, this M part. Now, if you can improve that memorization part, what you're essentially doing is you're making the recall a lot easier. Right, let's say that's your information up here, and down here, the R. The R represents recall. Right, so let's just make that exciting. <laughs> so the R is recall. And if you do this M part really well, you're going to improve your recall. So you're killing two birds with one stone. Right, by improving this section. Now, can you just do that and get the result? You can, right? You can, but it's not as effective. So this is, for example, it's a memory palace. So if you put information into a memory palace, you're gonna remember it most, most of the time, right? But if it's memorized crap <laughs> and you put it in there, then you may or may not get it, right? So in order to shore up the process, we need to improve this memorization. Now, how does that work? Now, I've talked about this in a lot of videos. Right? If you've watched some of my you know, smash and scope videos using a senses, you know, movement, association, all that sort of stuff, right? This is really powerful. But if you want to get there really, really quickly, what you need to do is you need to obviously train. Right? You need to train your memory. So how do you do that? Right? So when we're looking at memorization, let's say you want to remember someone's name. We'll do names today. And their name is, let's say, Bill. Right now, if you're trying to repeat the name Bill, 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 that doesn't get stored anywhere, right? Um, if you do it enough times, yeah, it'll probably go in your long-term memory, but you'll still end up forgetting because there's nothing to extract it from in your brain, right? So we need to make the memorization process a lot better. How do we do that? Um, you can think of money bills, right? Bills as a money, bills as in bills, like expenses. You can think of that. You can think of a, like a duck bill, all right, so there's so many bills you can think of. Um, and then once we've got that bill, now we have to obviously make it into stories because that's how you remember stuff, right? Now, if you want to train your memory, and I'm, again, I've spoken about this in my videos as well, so go check them out. You don't have to memorize, right? You don't have to memorize if you want to train your memory. Now, I train a lot of memory athletes as well uh, for competitions. And one of the tricks to not overusing a brain, it's not memorize, right? It's to just visualize and encode information. So what does that look like, right? I mentioned duck bill before, I mentioned money bills, right? I mentioned it. Now what you have to do is you're thinking of the word bill, it's like, okay, how can I expand on that? How do I expand on, you know, money bills? Right, so okay, I look at my expenses. Well, what are my expenses? I might be paying for a mortgage, I might be paying for the internet, I might be paying for my phone bill, right? So these are very, very important to accentuate and think, okay, how do I you know, make that even more memorable now? It's like, okay, I've got a phone bill, yeah, what, and? Well, maybe your phone bill is like, you know, something ridiculous, like 10 times more than what you pay for it. Right? Um, so what that's gonna do, it's gonna cause maybe a bit of anxiety and stress in your brain. What does that do? That makes it more memorable. So, you know, instead of expecting, say, a $50 phone bill, you know, wherever you are in the world, right? You might have $500 or $1,000 or whatever it is, right? Now, what does that do to the brain? The brain goes, hang on, that's not right. Or, gee, this is quite stressful, right? So, do you see what I mean? It makes things a little bit more memorable if we just visualize and expand on that visual process. Um, like I said, I talked about Smash and Scope, so go watch those videos. But if you just expand on it, you'll get better. So it's very similar to speed reading. If you want to improve your reading speed, right, expand on the images, right? If it says it's raining today, don't just try and visualize rain. 
try and picture yourself under the rain, right? What does it feel like to be under the rain? Maybe it's raining a lot, right? Can you feel that rain on your head? You're not wearing, you're not, you haven't got an umbrella, you're not wearing anything, right? Maybe you're not wearing anything, you're fully naked in the rain. How does that feel? Do you see what I mean? So just by doing that exercise, right, just by making this part more memorable, the encoding, not the memorization, right? You're, you're, not, you're not doing this part. You're not making stories. Stories is another thing. Now, if you don't know what I mean by stories, go again, go check out my other videos, right? I talk about this a lot. Um, so we're just talking purely encoding. If you can encode a lot better, memorization becomes a lot better. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.